Hey guys, so we are here with you with episode two now. Um, so a little bit of a different location, um, definitely not a location that we expected. A different chair as well. And a different chair. So um, when we're actually at home, a lot of our neighbours in the apartment complex that we live in have loads of these and I'm always very jealous of what them. What are they called? I don't know. Swing, I think swinging chair? Maybe like a swinging chair, yeah. <laughs> um, but I really love it. And when I came in and saw this, it actually made my day. It's like yeah. the most exciting thing of all time. So I think when I go home, I need to invest in one. Um, but yeah, we are actually not at home. It's definitely not a location that we expected to be doing episode two from. So we're currently in Dubai. Because we had a prep series planned um, to film, and we wanted to kind of see that through. Um, and our kind of main message with that, the main values like we portrayed in the rise, and uh, towards the end of that series and kind of talking you, you through uh, what the series was about and then moving into the series about All In. Uh, and the main thing I wanted to get across, um, and it's a huge thing over the last year, and it's that we're all going to be faced with obstacles and um, circumstances are going to come in our life that impacts us um, as people, as the goals that we have set. Um, and instead of kind of sitting down and allowing those goals to kind of, t uh, or allowing those goals to go away, it's like, okay, what can I do to adapt to the situation to ensure that I can still achieve the goal. I might not be making the same progress with that goal, but I'm still moving forward and I'm not just completely throwing in the towel. And that's a big thing we wanted to focus on. So we could have um, decided to leave the circumstances kind of take over and say, okay, that goes filming, guess we're not doing any of that and kind of cancelled all our plans with that. But we said no, like our lifestyle allows for us to be able to get creative here and, and do something about it. And that's what we decided to do. And so that's like the main message I want to say to you. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to up and leave and go different places because everyone has different circumstances, everyone has different jobs, everyone has different commitments that they have to stay around for, um, everyone has different goals that they need to work towards. So it's not about the specifics of what we're doing and the goals that we have, it's just the main message of we're all faced with problems, we all have goals we want to work towards, so just keep pushing forward and working towards those goals and do what you can under the circumstances to kind of help you help you get there. And that's why we're here, that's why we're filming. This is essentially exactly what we would have been doing back at home if restrictions would have laid for it. And that would be documenting some of our prep, showing you um, how we continue to train and kind of letting you uh, see our journey along the way. So that's why we're here and we are looking forward to definitely to sharing everything with you. Yeah, so in this episode, basically, we're just going to take you through. Um, we're actually going to do a push session today and hopefully you enjoy it. So the next couple of weeks will be all about what we're doing here um, in terms of our training, our nutrition. And basically, like Connor said, what we would be doing at home if restrictions allowed for it. We're just doing it in a bit of a different location. So I really hope you enjoy the first episode of us here in Dubai. And of course, um, we will be coming to you with some really good content in the next few weeks. So yeah. So basically we are now in Venus and um, upstairs uh, just before you go down to train you can get pretty much anything that you want up here. There's a food court and also any shots like pre-workouts, anything like that. I obviously don't take a pre-workout um, but I do like a good pump product so I'm just about to get a shot of that. Oh. 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 If you're in a different gym and you're used to log booking your um, workouts and you're kind of unsure what to do with machines, um, what I would do is just take your warm up sets 
as like your trial and trying to understand what kind of ref ranges you need to hit and the ways you need to do. And don't worry they're being too precise with the ref ranges. Like for example, my first set, I wanted to hit a 10 to 12 and I ended up getting like 13 or 14 reps. Not a big deal. You just engage it then properly for your next set. So first thing using a gym is probably likely for a few machines you're not going to be too precise with the rep ranges you hit. So don't worry about it. Once you're going to failure and you're getting a good idea of kind of what the machines are like, that's perfect. Saturday and I am definitely excited to get the ball rolling now. Um, so with regard to everything this week, I am holding a little bit of water. I'm not overly concerned, it's just from the flight. I know it'll subside over the next few days. Um, I had my check-in on Thursday with my own coach, Karen, and obviously I'm not driving over here, so activity expenditure is a lot higher. So the goal this week is to just kind of get a stabilized um, expenditure in terms of my need activity this week. Um, it is very, very high compared to what I'm used to, but again, my activity is very, very high because I'm not driving anywhere. So uh, with regard to everything, that's the only change that was made this week and to keep driving on for the week ahead. So hopefully that I will drop this water over the next few days and I'm just excited for the next week. Get one! Get one! Ah.
pushing um, until a later stage to make a decision because you have to realise you're getting really really lean um, the rebound effect you can have that and um, how efficient you're going to be at putting on muscle soaking up calories etc etc is going to be really really uh, effective like I was essentially in a gaining phase for about 13 or 14 months so for me to go into this at prep with the goal of competing if a show doesn't end up happening I still know it's going to serve me a lot of benefit and a lot of progress obviously the final few weeks uh, like four weeks out does get very very tough where it might be, uh, pu pu um, where the positive or the negatives outweigh the positives so I definitely try to make a decision about four-ish weeks out are our shows going ahead or are they not but to be honest from nine weeks out all the way up to four weeks out I'd be pretty happy to keep going whether a show is going ahead or not because I know it's going to serve me so much benefit then moving into the building phase so yeah I'm going to keep doing my thing Should you be prepping? Should you not be prepping? Like, what should you actually be doing? And 
I think for both myself and Connor, Connor actually said it at the start of the video, like prep is a lifestyle for me. Um, at the end of the day, I am going to continue to move forward. If the if the dates of the show gets pushed out to a little later in the month or the following month, I will still work towards that because at the end of the day, like this is not something that I'm just working for. This is something that I do every single day. The way that I eat, the way that I train, the way that I focus on my activity, all of that is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and I love it, so why would I stop now? I do need to tidy up anyway, um, regardless. So if the show gets postponed and gets pushed out a little bit later in the month or the following month, then that just gives me more time to perfect my posing, to come in better condition and just to improve my overall look and stage presence. So I never look to it as a negative. If, if, um, if you are someone who is looking to compete in the spring shows and you're a little bit worried, will my show go ahead, will it not go ahead? Then the way that I look, the way that I would advise is the way that I have just mentioned. I think. What do you think? Yeah, I uh, think a big thing that we kind of noticed was people who kind of wanted to stay prepping, but they felt they were almost getting negativity uh, put in their ear of people like saying like, "Oh, why are you prepping? The shows definitely won't go ahead and stuff." And at the end of the day, just to say like, you should live your life the way you want to live it. If it feels right to you to prep and to continue progressing, especially during these times. Uh, when there's not a lot going on like if someone was to tell you oh stop prepping the shows aren't going to go ahead and you decided to stop prepping and you didn't have kind of any drive to wake up any, in the morning any motivation like what would that be saying like why would you have done it so if you being on prep now if you having a drive of potentially doing a show and even if it's only a chance of them going ahead like if that's getting you up in the morning if that's keeping you motivated is that keeping you moving forward from a mindset perspective a confidence perspective and um, you're going to learn a lot about yourself along the way will the shows go ahead won't they go ahead maybe a few months later maybe on the dates they're meant to go ahead but if you decided I'm going to prep and I'm going to keep going, there's only going to serve you benefits because you're going to learn a lot as an individual uh, from a mindset perspective. If your physique is going to improve a lot, um, and if you have a right roadmap to if the shows don't go ahead or if they're postponed, and you have the right roadmap to delay a show to do at a later month or at the back end of the year, it's only going to serve you progression. Um, so never listen to kind of negative thoughts of people who say don't do it. A lot of times that comes from their own insecurities or their own kind of thoughts saying. I don't feel really, really driven at this time because of the uncertainty, so I don't want anyone else to be driven, I don't want anyone else moving forward if I'm not. So never listen to those individuals, keep doing your thing, it will all pay off in the end, whatever happens. And I think a big thing, like Connor said, like you have one life, so live it on your terms. No one has the right to tell you what to do or how to live a certain way. So like you wouldn't tell a professional footballer, stop playing football, or a professional basketballer, stop playing basketball. So why is it any different now? So keep doing you, keep moving forward. If you're prepping for a show, keep prepping. Keep enjoying what you're doing every day and just like if you love something like as much as I love it and as much as I have a passion for it, then keep moving. It's just another day in the life for you. It's not like you're just working towards one moment. There's gonna be plenty of moments in your life, of course, that are peak moments, like stepping on stage, but it's just a lifestyle. So just own it and stay in your own lane and that bubble of positivity and support. Stay around people who will support you and allow you to level up. Yeah.